Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to blindly drop ship from AliExpress. And you may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a different location. I'm actually filming this from New York. For those of you that don't know, blind drop shipping is the phrase used to describe when a drop shipper ships an item without adding any form of identification or marketing in the package so that the customer doesn't know where it came from. You see, a common concern that a lot of people discuss on our YouTube videos is that they are concerned that the AliExpress supplier will leave a form of marketing in the package identifying that it was them that was selling the item and not you. People will then see this and get upset with you reselling an item cheaper to them. Here is a comment someone left on one of our recent videos basically voicing this concern. So of course the solution to this is that you need to get the supplier to not include any marketing materials in the package identifying that it was them, i.e. you need to get them to blindly drop ship. So in this video I'm going to do two things. Firstly, I'm going to teach you how to get a supplier to blindly drop ship an item for you. And secondly, I'm going to show you what it looks like for the customer when they receive an item that has been blindly drop shipped. To do that, I'm going to order a bunch of items from AliExpress using the quick method that I'm going to be teaching you at the start of this video. To do this, I'm going to be doing an AliExpress unboxing or unpackaging video so that you can exactly see what the customer receives when they order an item from you. So, let's jump straight into it. All right, let me switch over to my computer screen and show you just how easy it is to get your items blindly drop shipped from AliExpress. Getting your items blindly drop shipped is super simple. All you have to do is go to the checkout page in AliExpress. There you can leave a message for your supplier, simply ask them to not include an invoice or marketing material with the package and ask them to please blindly drop ship the item. Super duper simple. You see, the sellers on AliExpress are used to working with dropshippers so they understand our needs and know how to ship packages out for us. You see, AliExpress suppliers love working with dropshippers because they know that we can do a huge amount of volume for them. So don't be afraid that they won't understand your request. And this is another good reason why it's important to pick a supplier that has a good feedback score. And this is something that I discuss in depth in my video, the six tips to drop shipping on AliExpress. And I will have a link to that video in the description below. Basically, you want to be looking for suppliers that have a feedback score between 2000 to 2 million. If you pick a supplier that has a feedback score above 2000, then you know that they are experienced, established, and are almost certainly working or have worked with drop shippers. And if you pick a supplier that has a feedback score of less than 2 million, then you know that they're not doing insane amounts of volume. And so they're going to be more attentive to the messages that people leave on their orders. And if you want to be doubly safe, then you can message the supplier in advance and ask them directly if they do blind drop shipping. And suppliers in this feedback range are the sweet spot because you know that they are reliable enough to reply, but not too busy to reply. All right, so now that we have gone through how to blindly drop ship, I'm gonna switch over and do an AliExpress unboxing so that you can see what the customer receives when they order a package. Okay, I have here a package that I have ordered from AliExpress and I ordered it using e-packet shipping. Well, as you can see on the front, there is absolutely no advertising indicating what supplier I purchased it from or that I purchased it from AliExpress at all. Uh, it just looks like a general um, address label. And if you look on the back, you'll see that there is absolutely no advertising on it at all. So now I am going to open this so that you can see that inside there is absolutely no advertising material. Inside, this is what we see. Now I'm gonna open this up as well. Ta-da! We have a self-stir mug. And as you can see, there was absolutely no advertising material in it at all. So you have no idea where it came from. And if you are a longtime subscriber of Wholesale Ted, you will probably recognize this mug. All right, I have a, another package from AliExpress. And as you can see, there is no advertising material on the package at all. If we go around the back, you will see there is only an address label. And again, it does not give the buyer any information about where they could go to purchase this. Okay, so let's open this up and see what's inside. So 
So when I open up the package, this is what we see. Once again, no advertising material on it at all. Now let's open it up. Ta-da! And this is what we have inside. If you are a longtime subscriber of Wholesale Ted, you will probably also recognize this. This here is a travel mug that looks like a camera lens. And again, there is no packaging inside which would indicate where it was from. So this here is a, another package from AliExpress. As you can see, there is no information on the front of it or advertising that would indicate where it is from. So the customer would not be able to go there directly themselves. If we switch it over, you will also see that there is absolutely no advertising on the back either. So let's open it up inside and see what we find. So I've opened it up and this is what I have inside. As you can see, there is no advertising on the item at all. And if we flip it over, there is no advertising there either. So the customer would have no idea where it came from. And just to double check inside the package, there is absolutely nothing as well. Here is another package from AliExpress. As you can see, there is no advertising on the front at all. And if we switch it over to the back, you will see that there is absolutely no advertising on it at all. So the customer would have no idea where to go and buy it from. Let's open it up inside and see if there is any advertising inside. So I have opened it up and it is a key, key ring. And on the package there is no advertising and if we switch it over there is once again no advertising. And if we want to double check inside the package, there is no advertising either. So again, the customer would have no idea where you got this from. It has been drop shipped blindly. All right, so I hope that you appreciated that AliExpress unboxing video and that you can see that a seemingly complicated problem has a very simple fix. And the thing is, I've noticed that there are a lot of people that get held back by stuff like this. There are a lot of people who have left messages that they haven't started with this business because they've been afraid that their customers were going to receive marketing or invoices and then discover where they truly got the item from. But a little bit of research reveals that this is actually a really easy problem to overcome. And that's the funny thing. If you encounter a roadblock like this, don't stop. Instead, try to find a solution and it's almost certainly going to be simpler than you thought. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to us here at Wholesale Ted for more great videos about making money selling online. And if you would like to get started in dropshipping, but you don't know how, then you should be sure to download our free ebook, How to Make $10,000 a Month Online from Dropshipping. Find a link on how to download this incredible life-changing ebook in the video description below.